The largest, most heavy duty of the three is the Mini Mantis, ideal for production cutting environments. It's available in three web width sizes, capable of cutting 24, 36, and 60 inch webs respectively. The 60 inch rail is most useful for cutting the types of beams used in bridge construction. The basic machine with a 24 inch rail weighs 57 pounds. A protractor in the Mini Mantis rails allows you to lock in a specific angle to make a miter cut. And a protractor on the vertical axis allows you to cut a cope on the beam flange. Zeroing devices on both axes maintain squareness by allowing you to compensate for wear and to cut as squarely as the steel mill tolerance of the beam allows. The mini mattice can also be used for straight line cutting a flat plate. A graduated torch bevel ring allows you to bevel the flange in either direction. To bevel the web, you adjust the vertical torch bar. The mini mattice has a four inch thick web capacity. You also have six inches of horizontal torch racking motion. A longer torch bar with 12 inches of travel is also available. Each motor drive is designed for the demands of each axis. The horizontal motion is friction drive that allows the machine to idle without damaging the drive should it inadvertently collide with the beam. The vertical axis is gear driven to support the weight of the machine. A fixed lower limit switch and an adjustable upper limit switch set the length of travel to adjust for flange width. When the torch reaches its limit and stops, a solenoid automatically cuts off cutting oxygen. A high speed override switch, which also turns off cutting oxygen, helps you quickly reach the desired torch position. The Mini Mantis has a unique gas control system called an Econo valve. It's actually a six valve assembly that controls a small pilot flame preheat and cutting oxygen. The pilot saves the time and effort needed to constantly relight the torch when moving from cut to cut. Once you set the pilot, preheat, and cutting oxygen on the Econo valve, you simply use the lever to select the function and you don't have to readjust the valves every time you shut down and restart the torch. A typical Mini Mantis cutting sequence begins after the machine is bolted to the beam. You run the torch to the vertical limit, light the torch, and begin the preheat. You cut the first flange from bottom to top. Tip number one, always cut thicker work from bottom to top. Cutting downward causes slag to build up in the flange to web transition. It's also a good idea to reduce the drive speed by one to one and a half settings when passing through the transition. To switch to the web cut, Use the high speed override to move the torch to the start of the web. After you rotate the torch 90 degrees, lower it into position, preheat, and start the cut. Tech tip number two. Because the web is thinner than the flange, you should cut it at a higher speed. To cut the second flange, raise the torch, rotate it 90 degrees, and run the machine out to clear the flange. Lower the torch to the bottom of the flange using the high speed override and repeat the cutting process.
Remember to reset the cutting speed for the thicker flange. When the last cut is completed, use the Econo valve to extinguish the flame.